smells incredible. Hands. Huh? <clears throat> She's sleeping? Yet. I bait her before I started all this. Did you find the recipe? I think so. It seems pretty close to how I remember her making it. Hmm. Well, it tastes like you're doing it right. That's delicious. What, my school? Mm -mm. Columbus Day. Oh. I wish Jin wouldn't let ravioli into our yard. It gets him so riled up. Yeah, but it's good for him. He gets so excited, though. I'm afraid he's going to overdo it and kill over. What, Alex? No, ravioli. <laughs> Have you heard that dog breathing? <laughs> what are you doing? Just stirring the pot. Watch it. There was no sawdust in my mom's recipe. I already cleaned my hands, but I do need to take a shower if you want to join me. I'm making dinner. I know. You should make that a cold shower. Even with the best treatments, glioblastoma is extremely aggressive, and we're looking at 14 and a half months at best. Can't you just remove it? I'm sorry, but in Alex's case, due to the size and location of the tumor, he wouldn't survive surgery. So what are our options here? Well, one option is to switch the focus to palliative care. What does that mean? Do you want me to hold his hand and watch him die? Alex's diagnosis does make him eligible for the benefits of hospice care. Benefits? You want us to give up on him? I'm absolutely not giving up on Alex. There's no magic solution here. I'm simply asking you, what kind of life do you want for him? A long one. What I'm asking you to understand is no matter what we do medically, it will not extend his life beyond just a few months. My son is not going to die. Mr. Cortez, are you a man of faith? I used to be. It may help your wife to speak with a spiritual counselor. Perhaps a priest can help her come to terms with her grief. The last time she went to a priest for comfort, she ended up marrying him. Did it hurt? A little, but then the pain goes away and, and now, now I don't feel anything. Was it scary? That I don't remember. I think it was scary. What's scary? I was talking to my friend. What friend? Common side effect with this type of cancer is hallucinations. They can feel very real for the patient, especially a young patient with an active imagination. I want to take him home. 
Without home care in place, it would be very difficult for you to care for his needs. I don't care. I don't feel comfortable with him here. This is the best place for him. He has people looking out for him here. We are already caring for Ben's mom. I want him home right now. Which is exactly the reason you need home help. Caring for a dementia patient and a child with cancer. It's just too much strain to put on yourself. I will do anything to bring you with me. If I have to put him in a trunk, I'm gonna do it. I'll speak to Dr. Berenger. In the meantime, try to get some rest. You're no good to Alex if you're burned out. He has someone looking over him. Please, get some rest. Benjamin. Brother Bennett, it's good to see you. So nice to see that you're following in your father's footsteps. Yeah, I probably should have paid more attention when he was trying to teach me things, but came along. You know, we all have that problem. We feel that our teachers are immortal. We forget. We only had them for a limited time. So you're just driving through the neighborhood? No, I was hoping to see you. I wanted to invite you back to Mass. Of course, if you'd like to. She get back to work. I hear that your nephew has fallen ill. He's my son. My apologies, of course, your son. And your mother? Um, well, she doesn't recognize me or anyone else, but... We got our nurse up out a few days a week, just until she, uh... Mm -hmm. The church still considers you to be part of its congregation. If there's anything you need, anything that we can help with, please don't hesitate to come. It's very generous of you, Father. I think we'll manage. Fine. I understand. You know... Your father would be very proud of you, Benjamin. As would your brother. The doors of the church will always be open, and the doors to my office as well. If you need anything, Benjamin, please. Don't hesitate. Thanks. Come. Good to see you, Father. Someone wants to say hello. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Um, he's really tired and his immune system might not be up for a dog visit. Oh, nonsense. I just gave Mr. Ravioli a bath. All organic shampoos, of course, all completely natural. So there's nothing that can cause a bad reaction. 
these things are all natural, but they still cause reaction. <laughs> that they do. Well, thank you for coming by. I'll tell Alex that Mr. Ravioli came to check in on him. Oh, 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 please. Please let Mr. Ravioli stay a moment. He's been so sad and worried since Alex was in the hospital. He just sits by the door and cries. Maybe he just needs to poop. <laughs> Norman, I'm so happy you're able to keep your sense of humor through all of this. I know things are hard, but there's always hope. I know you've been going through a lot, but sometimes it's really helpful to just sit down with somebody and have some tea. Mr. Ravioli. We wanted to come in and check on you. Did you know that pugs were actually bred to be these furry little heating pads that you could tuck in next to an emperor when they were feeling ill? We have actual heating pads we can use now. Oh, looks like you have someone else looking after you. It was his dad's when he was a kid. I bet you are a great, powerful warrior. Someday, you're going to rise up and save the whole planet. I uh, brought something for you. Oh the my God, are, are those real? Of course they're real. Alex told me that he really loves butterflies. Didn't you, honey? Oh, these are so cool. Most people only see the bright colors because they only display them on one side. And if you do that, you miss the whole underworld that's full of patterns and surprises that you would never expect. Oh, wow. I've seen one of those before. Well, the first time I encountered a blue morpho, I was in Mazalan, dabbling with ayahuasca, and they say that they are great symbols for change, and that you need to embrace them when all these changes come into your life and have faith when they come for you in the future. What's ayahuasca? Uh, come, uh, I'll put on a kettle. What kind of tea will you like? Oh, it's my own brand. Hey, would you look after Mr. Ravioli for me, please? What kind of tea did you say it was? Oh, it's my own special blend. It has Central American elements and it plus healing properties. Oh, yeah, it tastes earthy. It has the taste of the rainforest in this one. That is what I'm tasting. It's like when you're walking through the woods and you trip and you get your mouth full of leaves. <laughs> Take another sip, dear. The more you drink, the better it gets. You know, I think it's just terrible of those doctors to let a beautiful little boy like yours just waste away. You were right to bring him home. Oh, hon, it's okay. You don't have to pretend to be strong with me. I know a surgeon that uses unconventional methods to heal people that 
conventional methods cannot. What do you mean? Well, by combining surgery with the spiritual plane, and I think he just might be able to save your beautiful little boy. He knows the power behind life and death. Where is he? He's, uh... You can drive there from here. Uh, drive where, exactly? Well, to Matsalon. It's a beautiful city. Have you ever been there? <gasps> I have some friends that you can stay with. Norma? Hey, Norma? Half pass out. Oh, yeah, you're, rest. Oh, you're so sweet. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's let Alex rest. I'll make you some dinner. No, sweetheart, that's okay. I'll make us dinner. Thank you. Mm. I saw June leaving when I got home. Mm, we had a lovely chat. She brought over tea. <laughs> tea? Really? Well, it must have been a very relaxing tea because mm. you were pretty wiped out. It was lovely. She's very sweet. Uh, yeah, she is very sweet. In fact, I think she was hitting on me. Oh, my God. I know. So I should keep you inside so the cool girl don't try to run away with you. <laughs> I noticed you redecorated the living room. Mm. I thought a little faith wouldn't hurt. Does it make you uncomfortable? No, it's nice. Actually, it's already working. I hadn't even finished putting up the crucifixes and June came over and told me about a surgeon who can help. Really, what, what, who? He deals with rare cases, the ones that American doctors won't treat. American doctors, where is he? Mazatlan. Mexico, you want to You want to take him to Mexico for surgery? Yes, if it's going to save his life, yes. June said that we can stay with her friends while he's getting treatment. Uh, who's going to take her mom? <sighs> this isn't about your mom. This is about Alex. This is his life. This is his life. And Mazatlan is in Sinaloa. Do you know what Sinaloa is like? I know what losing someone that I love is like. I know what watching him bleed in your arms is like. I don't give a fuck what Sinaloa is like. No, but just take a second, listen to what you're saying. We don't know anything about the surgeon. This is what it means to have faith, Benjamin. If there is even the slightest chance that having faith will save our son, then I will do anything to Norma, hold onto that faith. Please, please, just think about it, please. We are going. We're not going to Mexico. Yes. You, they aren't gonna let you back into the States. I'm going there with Alex. No, you're not going. You're not going. If you get, Norma, if you get caught at the border, they're not 
stop letting you come back. The immig our immigration attorney told you this. You're not allowed to leave. I will hide in a trunk if I have to. No. I'm going to be there for my son. You're not going to hide in a goddamn trunk. I'm going you. there. No, listen to I'm yourself. Not to to no, please. Norma, you're not. Why do you use that one? Hey, what's up, buddy? You okay? Why are you up so early? I had a bad dream. I'm sorry, kiddo. You want me to make you some breakfast? Yeah? I could get you a donut. Why do you use that old thing? Uh, well, this. This used to be my father's. So I like to use it because I think it makes me feel close to him now that he's gone. He's not gone. I see him. Other people, too. Yeah, you're right, buddy. He's not gone. He's with Jesus. He's not with Jesus. He's with that other guy. What other guy? The guy from my dream. The butterfly man. <sighs> <clears throat> Tell you what, why don't I go make us some breakfast? Okay. Tell me what happened. Why would you leave that out? Uh, I was just making breakfast. He wants me to take my skin off. Who does? Grandpa. We are going. No, I, I'll go. I'll go. I'll take him. You need to stay here to take care of Mom. Norma, please. Let me take him. I'll keep him safe, I promise. Thank you. Long journey. Uh, yes. But happy to be here. You must be Alex. I've heard so much about you. Oh, that's, that's okay. I can, I can take care of him. Come, we just made a huge pot of pozzoli. Uh, thank you. The guys will show you to your room.
look like that, you know. Uh, like what? Angel. They don't look like us. They're mostly eyes. Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, Ezekiel's visions, right? Not quite. More like the patterns in a moth's wings. Yeah. Mm. Hey, buddy. Hi. Sit. Eat. Replenish yourself after your long journey. Uh, thank you. Come on. The AC in our car is broken, so it's a little bit of a tough trip. Ah, uh, yeah, the heat can be unbearable. I find it has a cleansing quality, though. I feel purified by it. It's why so many who come to visit choose to stay. Like our dear Peter here. Oh, thank you. Cricket. Nothing. This is amazing. I haven't seen a meat like this in a long time. Yeah. You must, must really like your cooking. <laughs> uh, so, uh, is this pork? It's the traditional recipe. Dates back to the Shishims. Uh, they used to live in this region, and they would have this as their ritual feast. Mm, well, it's, it's delicious. You must have put a lot of heart into it. Mm, no, we don't use the heart. Everything else, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some more. Yes, of course. It's all for you. So when do we... when do we get to meet the surgeon? He can do the procedure tomorrow. Tomorrow? But that soon? Mm-hmm. Well, shouldn't he be fasting? Well, I'm sure he is. No, Alex. Shouldn't Alex be fasting? No, no, no not necessary. Well, in the U.S., the, the patients are the ones that fast before a surgery, not the doctors. But you've come here. Perhaps their ways aren't the only ways. I can see you're nervous. I'll make you some tea after dinner. And some traditional chocolate for our young hero. Chocolate! Yes! Is this place? Hey, what the hell is this place? This is where your son gets a second chance. No, no, this isn't right. Hey, Alex, come on, we're gonna go home. You've come so far, just a little bit further. You must have faith if you want your son to live. No, this isn't right. He's not safe here. Come on, let's go. It is perfectly safe here. Nothing will happen to either one of you unless I let it. Who are you? I'm the one you came to see. I'm the one who can save this boy. I'm not touching my son. Your son has already been touched. You don't look like a surgeon. You don't look like a priest. <laughs> 
but we are what we are. I'm a carpenter, like my father. Ah, priest, carpenter, rabbi, so what? What are you now? But merely a father with a dying son. Like you, Padre, I save those that hospitals cannot. The difference is that those I save still have a heart beating in their chest. Thump, ba -thump, ba -thump. You ever do brain surgery? Many times. Bullets, not tumors. <laughs> you work for the cartels. Yeah. Well, they work for me. Who can say? Sometimes they bring me people that they need to be able to speak again. I can do that, as long as they're not too dead. There's the money that we promised you. We'll pay you for your time. Just let us go. Alex, come on. Just I come cannot on. touch the money. It's a cemetery. Please. This is a very sick little boy. If you leave, if you do not take what is being offered to you, you condemn him to death. You have seen enough death, haven't you? Drink, priest. We must all take part. Hey, just like the Ugarest. Padre. Who to say, Loon, 
Tantie de esta conquista. Si tu que te di, me arrogia. Si tu que te di, me arrogia. Tantie Max, tu la quiero. Si tu que no, Tantie de esta conquista. Si tu que te di, me arrogia. Tantie Max, tu la quiero. Si tu que no, Tantie de esta conquista. Madre, ahí viene el diablo. Uh, uh, Isai, Isai, salva a tu hijo. Isai, Isai, Isai.
food! It's jammed. Oh, hey. Stop. 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 Uh, sorry we didn't me and Awake, we were just trying to uh, get my luggage. Where's Alex? Um, he had to stay because of the surgery. So I wanted to come back and check on mom. She's awake? She, uh, mom's awake. She's awake. She's talking. She woke up screaming about El Nino. It's a uh, Benjamin, Mom. Oh, Salvatrio. 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 He's, he's okay. Everything's okay. Salvatrio. Alex, uh, Alex is okay. Alex is okay. When we log it all, it's a miracle. No. Yes, a miracle. God. No. Dios. Dios no. saved. No. Yes, no. Dios. No, it's a milagro. No, it's the deals. No, no. I am so glad you speak Spanish. She's been going on and on since she woke up. I have no idea what she's been saying. I brought her a tamale. It's from Trader Joe's. No, it's the deals. No, it's the deals. No. Salve a ti, hijo. Salve a ti, hijo. Salve a ti, hijo. No. No, it's the deals. Where the fuck is he? Where is he? I pr he was dead, right? He was dead. He was dead. I pr you, you saw him dead? Yeah, I, I wrapped him in my shirt and I put him. I put him. I put him right there. I put him right here. I put him. We, we did one stop after we crossed the border. Look, Rye, he only wants to play with me. Okay, Mommy, I'm all right on
Get away from the window. Come on. Okay, though? Yes, I haven't had a chance to clean that up, sorry. Oh, I don't mind. I love birds. <laughs> so, how did it go with the surgeon? Yeah, that's what I was hoping to talk about. Oh, that's great. Let's go in and have some tea, shall we? me to. Who won it? The butterfly man. Who? The butterfly man. He's helping me create something. Let's go inside. You need to change. I am. before. I don't know what's going on with him. He's been through a lot, Norma. Maybe the birds just scared him. They scared me too, but I'm not torturing them. Yeah, but he's a kid. He's just a kid. The doctor said that the tumor could affect his personality too. Maybe this is just a side effect of the surgery. Did I mention that your mother tried to blow up the house? What? Yes, you need to do something. I can't deal with all of this by myself. I can't. Okay, okay. I'll go talk to her. And say what? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but maybe she just needs to see that Alex is okay. I don't know, let me just try. Maria, Madre de Dios. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, por favor, salve el niño. Salve el niño, man, Santa Maria. Look, it's Alex. We're okay. He's okay. We, we saved him. God, God saved him. No, it's Alex. No, it's Alex. He's pretty upset. He wanted to be alone. Let me see. It's fine. He didn't mean to. She scared him. I know. She's... What the hell was that about? 
You know how she is, and it's the dementia it just gets the better of her sometimes. She doesn't speak for over a year, and the first thing she does is call my son the devil. Honey, she can't help it. <sighs> we need to find her a facility that can take care of her. Facility? We're not sending. We're not sending my mother away. She's dangerous. She can hurt Alex. What are you talking about? She's. She would never hurt Alex. She thinks he's the devil. She was confused and scared. Scared and out of her mind. Now that she's moving around, I'm afraid what she might do. Well, then we just have to keep a better eye on her then. <sighs> I'm begging you. We need to sleep sometimes. Please take your mom out of my house. <sighs> this is her house. We moved in with her. I just had a nightmare. Oh, Alex. Keep her wallet behind. What did you, what did you just say? Honey, did you wet the bed? Oh my God, it's blood. Blood? She's on her way to go check on mom. Mm -hmm. She's not happy about the time, so she's charging us double. Good evening. I'm Dr. Lancer. How are we all feeling tonight? He woke up bleeding <sighs> down there. Let's see what we have. <sighs> oh, my older brother used to have that same guy. Yeah, he has had the bazooka, I think. He used to play with it when he wasn't looking. Anytime he'd catch me, he'd give me the worst Indian burns you've ever seen. Thought he was gonna peel my skin right off. <laughs> He's my daddy. My other daddy. My other daddy, he fought the bad guys. Mm. Well, do you think you'd mind if we take a look? He wants to see, okay? Okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be any more bleeding, no signs of cuts or injuries. Alex? I think your body's just trying to fight something off. Like a bad guy? Yes, exactly like a bad guy. You know, your body's just trying to fight off some foreign invaders and your kidneys are working overtime to restore your blood. So I'm gonna give you some antibiotics and I'm gonna have your mom and dad give you lots of fluids. And we're gonna try to flush those bad guys right out of there. Uh, is that some kind of an infection? Most likely. Has he traveled or eaten anything different lately? Yeah, we, we went to Mexico. Oh, that would do it. It's not the first person to come back from Mexico pissing blood. Uh, I'm gonna give the two of you some antibiotics to take as well, just in case. Uh, <clears throat> it, you know, could be a parasite of some type, too. Uh, like an insect? Possibly, or some type of larva, uh, something looking for a host. Uh, let's just keep him here tonight and see how he's feeling in the morning. Can't we just bring him home? I think we'd sleep better if we knew he was A-OK -okay first. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check mom. Isn't the nurse on her way? Yeah, she is. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna tell the nurses he's gonna stay tonight and we'll get you in the room.
that cop? What if he's hurting people in this house? Like, when it's empty, I mean, like, what if he's actually killing people here? And, and I'm not crazy. I'm just seeing, I don't know, like ghosts, I guess. Well, that is a very... But your logic is flawed for two very big reasons. Why? One, we already know you're crazy. And two, there's no such things as ghosts. Can you stay with me until I fall asleep? I just feel like I haven't slept in days. And... Madre de Dios. Madre de Dios. Madre. You know, Brian, I look at you now and I just think, how the fuck did I ever fall in love with such a pathetic, limp-dick cocksucker like you? <laughs> That's okay, Megan. Just, you're not even here. What the fuck are you talking about? It's just me and me and me Todd, and me. Oh, Todd's not here either. Todd! 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 Fuck you, Brian! Don't you ever fucking put your hands on me! My condolences on the loss of your mother, Mr. Cortez. Thank you. My understanding, she's been unresponsive for some time. Uh, yeah, she had a... She had dementia. Mm. Terrible way to live. Hard on the family, too. Especially financially. We managed. Your son's been very ill, too, I hear. Yes. That must be tough. Sick mom and sick son at the same time, that kind of thing puts a lot of stress on a marriage. <sighs> Detective, I'd really like to find out what happened to my mother. The nurse said uh, the two of you were speaking Spanish. Said she was very upset, kept calling you Isai. That, that was your brother's name, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. Some, sometimes parents get confused, call their kids by the wrong name, especially if one was the favorite. But, uh, was Esai the favorite? Uh, I wouldn't know. Oh, I think you would. How could you not? Is this going somewhere? Well, I'm just trying to figure out how you ended up with your brother's wife. Well, I promised him that I would take care of her. And his son, too, right? Yes. Was that before he was deployed or after he came back? Before. And did you? Did I what? Take care of his wife while he was in the Middle East. Two violent deaths in the same family. Tragedy seems to follow you, Father. It's Mr. Cortez. Of course, Mr. Cortez. And I wasn't there. I had nothing to do with that. Strange you wouldn't attend your brother's welcome home celebration. I don't go into bars. Fight broke out, your hero brother tried to stop it, but I've never even saw the knife. He had been drinking. The, the two of you talked before he went out that night? Well, maybe you might have had an argument like the one you had with your mom. What happened to my mother? Not unusual for a person with dementia to decide they've been around long enough and 
check out early. Try to hurry the process along. They, they just don't usually make such a mess of the place. You know, usually if you're gonna try to fake a suicide, you don't wanna take the gun with you. Wait, what gun? Well, the splatter patterns on the ceiling are consistent with a shotgun blaster. That or a bazooka. Detective, I didn't, I didn't kill my mother. I quote you on that. Where were you last night? I took my son to the hospital. But you left the hospital. You had to come check on my mom. But you already had a care nurse here. Unless that was the point. Have the care nurse here so that she could find the body and say that she was alone when she found her. We're done here, unless I'm being detained. Well, we're just having a pleasant chat. You take care of that sick nephew of yours. We'll be in touch. You really think he did it? The guy used to be a priest, for Christ's sake. Used to. Why do you think he left the church? You think he did it for her? I would. But would you kill your mother for a piece of ass? It's a really nice ass. Just saying, I've seen men do worse for less. in here? No. Really? Really. Why would you think? I let him out to play with Alex hours ago. Alex is still in bed asleep. No, he isn't. He's been up for hours. He came whispering at my door for me to, to, to let him come out. I'm sure I should have heard him snorting if he was here. Would you come out and help me look for him? Uh, yes. Sure, uh, let me first check on Alex and then tell Ben what's happened. Uh, but please, sir, okay? Mr. Ravioli? Oh, you're up. There is cereal in the cabinet. I'll make you some eggs when, when I get back. I just need to help June to find Ravioli. Truck's already come. You're gonna have to take that yourself. Unless you want somebody going through your stuff. Did you ever find out what happened to my mother? Uh, still working on it. Came by to see if that shotgun ever showed up. You wouldn't happen to have that lying around now, would you? I don't keep guns. Nah, suppose you wouldn't. Being a man of God and all, you're more the crosses and holy water type. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación 
y líbranos del mal. Amén. Doctor, me priest buddies. Turns out you were inquiring about a burial plot. The curious thing is you were asking about it before your mother died. Another interesting thing I found out is you can't be buried on church property if you commit suicide. I'm gonna kill my mom. Yeah, you keep saying that. Ben! Ben! Have you seen Mr. Ma Mr. Mr. Ravioli? No, 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 I haven't. Norma said she'd help me look for him. She must have gotten caught up taking care of Alex. Let's go find her. Can, can, can you help me find him, officer? Sorry, ma'am. Lost dogs and saved a cat isn't exactly my thing. <laughs> He's not as helpful as he looked. You and I just have a different idea about what's helpful. Let's go get her. We'll find her. <laughs> Please stick around for a while. Maybe not, uh... Take off to Mexico for a while till we get this whole thing from one story. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Reino, hágase tu voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Y perdona nuestras ofensas. Y nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro ¡Ah! ¡Ah! Santificado sea tu nombre. De tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. ¡Ah! Dumbass. Alex! Norma! Norma! Uh, wait, wait! Norma! <laughs> Ravioli! Mr. Ravioli! Ravioli, where are you? <laughs> Scholars have theorized that demons and angels had contact with the original inhabitants of Mexico. This entity could have aligned itself with an ancient religion, something from the early Americas. Do you think this is some kind of form of possession? I don't know. I don't. What I do know is that I want to help you two to get your son back. I have enough evidence to go to the Archdiocese and to ask them to give me permission to take the next step. And in the meantime? In the meantime, you two should go home and do what I'm going to do. Pray.
Thank God she's not pressing charges. Yeah, but that dickhead detective is doing his best to get her to, though. <laughs> I never heard you use that language. <laughs> well, I guess I never really had a reason to until now. Is he, is he asleep? Oh, yeah. He's out like a light. <laughs> it's tough being a demigod. <laughs> He's gonna be okay. Just try to get some sleep. <sighs> so, uh, by the way, we have a very solid front door. Yeah. Sorry. I could fix anything. Alex. Oh, yeah, um, sorry, it was a bad dream. Oh, um, I don't know any, I'm sorry. Let me go check on him. He kills her. No, honey, honey, don't go. Don't. Did she really see you? No. We need to take him to a doctor. Oh. Um, no, no, but I know where to take him. Oh. Honey, just wrap him up. Wrap him up. So I guess we're not going to wait for the Archbishop said. Father, we're, we're way past that mark. Should we take him to the chapel? No, 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 this is fine. We'll do it here. Can you get the box? We need to secure him to the chair and tie him down. I'm not going to tie him like an animal. It's for his safety as well as ours. No, this is a mistake. I'm not going to do this. No, I'm not just doing. Look, whatever's in him is not a child. It's very old and very powerful. All of us are in great danger. 
Now make sure that he is tied securely to this chair. Now, would you assist me, Benjamin? Uh, yes, well, of course. Good. I need to go and prepare. You trust this man? With my very soul. Put him in the chair. I'll do whatever it takes to save him. And if we fail? God save all of us. Take this. And wear this. Shall we begin? O oh Lord, hear my prayer. That my my cry come unto thee. May the Lord be with thee. And with thy spirit. God of heaven. God of earth, God of angels, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins. You're not a virgin, are you, Benjamin? God who has the power to give life after death and rest after work. God didn't give me life after death, but you know who did. Because there is no other God than thee, and there can be no other. For thou art the creator of all things visible and invisible. You had to mommy me to Divine, oh Lord, to grant us thy powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech thee through Jesus Christ, you just our Lord. to put your snake in the hole. You will guide my daddy dog because you wanted to fuck my mommy. Deliver us, O oh Lord. From the snares of the devil. That's why you ran away from God. That's why you broke your vow. Keep reading, Ben. Uh, that, thy, that thy church may serve thee in peace and liberty. We beseech thee to hear us. God hates you. He knows you're a liar. Say the words, Ben. Ben, stop. That thy church may serve thee in, in peace and liberty. You lust killed your brother. You lust killed my father. <laughs> That's why he's waiting in hell for you. Don't give in to the pain, Benjamin. Keep reading. Depart then, transgressor! Depart, seducer, full of lies and cunning! Bow of the virtuous! Persecutor of the innocent! Give place, abominable creature! Give way, you monster! Give way to Christ! In whom you found none of your works! Oh, he has a way to... Please, 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 please